Hello, this is Top Stories on Viewer Television. My name is Patience Sidi. President Bola Tinubu has ordered security agencies to rescue the remaining female students of the Federal University of Guso in the Sabin Gida area of Zamfara State. Special Advisor on Media and Publicity at Jury, Inga Lale, in a statement said, The President condemned the reprehensible uh, act of abduction, stressing that there was no moral jurisdiction for such heinous crimes. In Guso capital of Zamfara State, bandits invaded the campus of the Federal University Guso and kidnapped an unspecified number of people, including students, non-teaching staff members, and construction workers. The military went after the kidnappers and rescued seven people. The whereabouts of the others are unknown. Ahead of the planned strike by the labor unions, the House of Representatives has promised to protect our vulnerable Nigerians. The House made this known through the Chairman House Committee on Media and Public Affairs, Akin Remy. The Nigerian Labor Congress and affiliated unions are currently preparing for a potential nationwide strike. Following the end of a 21-day ultimatum given by the, uh, to the federal government, uh, the unions demanded the provision of palliatives to elevate uh, the impact of the recent full subsidy removal by President Bola Tinubu. The federal government at the weekend warned electricity workers against vandalizing the national grid during strike. Minister of Power Adebayo Adelabu said that do doing so was not only a criminal act but also a sabotage of effort to provide Nigerians with steady power supply. According to the minister during the two-day warning uh, strike early this month by the Nigerian Labour Congress, uh, the government got to the information that electricity workers attacked the control centre in Oshubu, uh, the Oshun state capital, with the intention to plunge the country into blackout. Uh, Adela Bull spoke in Oshubu while addressing electricity workers at the sub-regional office of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. Adela Bull told the workers that his ministry has already written to the National Security Advisor, Nuhu Rubado, to strengthen security around its facilities nationwide. Stakeholders at a meeting in Imo State have called on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to address the uh, late arrival of materials and other um, bottlenecks surrounding collection permanent voter cards to enhance credibility in the forthcoming governorship election. Mr. Samo Ozuna from the Civil Society Organization called for more sensitization of citizens to enhance participation he said, though the organization has always been mobilized eligible voters to collect their permanent voter card, it was observed that some INEC personnel were not always on seat to issue the PVCs. The President Imo State Council of President General, uh, Mr. Chigoze Umuruka, commended INEC for the successes recorded in the last general election. Mr. Umuruka called on the commission to ensure that only accredited Detailed agents of political parties were allowed access to resolve collation centers to avoid undue interference. The Minister of Works, David Omahi, has insisted that there is no going back on the construction of concrete roads, saying President Bola Chidibo has approved that it should be enforced. He, however, urged uh, road construction companies nationwide to learn from the ingenuity of Summertech Nigeria Limited. Omahi gave the advice when he visited the project site for the dualization of the Calabar E2 highway. The highway covers the power plant section, Udu Pani in Cross River to Uku Iboku in Aqua Ibom. The dualization well, uh, which will include four bridges in handle by the Samatek, a local contractor Umahi held Samatek for doing a good job and encouraged other indigenous contractors to emulate their company. Minister of the Federal Capital Territory in Yosemite has revoked 21 plots of land in the Central Business District, CBD of Abuja, in the revocation 
notice signed which Mr. Olusha De Adeshola, the permanent secretary in the FCT administration, signed on his behalf. Wiki explained that the lands were revoked for continued in contravention of the terms of deployment of the right of occupancy to with non development. The minister also approved to three months grace period for 189 title holders who have obtained building plan approvals but are yet to commence development on the property. In a statement signed by the Director of Information and Communication of the FCT, Mohammed Hazard, the minister asked the affected property owners to do so within the stipulated period or have their title revoked in line with the provision of the law. The Nigerian Labour Congress NLC slammed the organized private sector OPS over the opposition to a nationwide strike on the grounds that the economy can no withstand countrywide industrial action now. It said that the OPS was opposing the strike because it wanted to continue paying slave wages to workers. Also, the NLC alleged that some groups suspected to be agents of the government will plan to sabotage the ongoing struggle for palliatives to cushion the negative uh, effect of subsidy removal on petrol. An impeccable uh, source told newsmen uh, that the government was working hard to issue some members of the union and some association to discredit the struggle with the argument that any strike and back upon by level will worsen the economic situation. Also, France has backed down on its headline stance against the copies who withdrew President Mohamed Bazoum of Niger Republic in July. And the colonial power had kicked against the coup and insisted on the reinstatement of Bazoum. It has also refused to recognize the junta, which announced that Niger had severe ties with uh, its uh, colonial masters. But on Sunday, President Emmanuel Macron said France will soon withdraw its ambassadors from Niger, followed by its military contingents. Uh, France has about 1,500 soldiers in Niger as part of uh, an anti-jihadist deployment in the Sahel region. And that's all on Top Stories. My name is Patient City. Many thanks for watching. Do stay tuned and enjoy the rest of our programs.